everyone. First up right now, two years ago, wildfires ripped through parts of Sevier County, a night so many people will never forget. Uh, no doubt about that. You know, in the end, 14 people died in those fires. Some of those people calling the area home, others visiting the area. More than 2,400 structures destroyed that night, 13,000 left without power. What happened, as you well know, still touching those who lived through the devastation? In our top story tonight, Six On Your Side reporter Laura Holm speaking with a person who lived through that horrific night. She joins us now live here in our studios with what is being said two years later. Laura? Mm -hmm. Well, so many of us have vivid memories of where we were and what November 28th, 2016 was like. Today I visited the Williams family who tells me they're feeling a real wide range of emotions when it comes to this difficult anniversary. It took about 20 months for the Williams family to rebuild and get back to a sense of normalcy. Two years ago, they'd just gotten back from visiting family in Texas when they rushed to evacuate. Be Becky Williams telling me on this anniversary, she's keeping the families who lost their loved ones in this wildfire closest to her heart. I have moments that the fear sets in a little bit, um, but I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful that I'm sitting in my house, that it's decorated for Christmas, that the last two years is behind us and we're moving forward. And um, I, you know, I think what sums up my feeling for all of this that we've been through is that I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Coming up at five, I have more on what this family was able to salvage from the ashes and what they're thankful for this holiday season. Bo, Kristen. All right, thank you so much, Laura. And again, others remembering the wildfires today as well. That's right, the city of Gatlinburg and Sevier County both sharing this statement saying, quote, despite all that was lost, the disaster did not take the unmistakable resolve of our community. We saw this strength in the faces of our first responders and selfless citizens. We see it throughout the community today as we continue to heal. Hashtag Mountain Tough. And again, as Laura just mentioned, we're going to hear from wildfire survivors tonight at 5. And then tonight at 6, we'll hear from a local first responder among the first from his department to respond to those wildfires.